All right, there's been a lot of talk about gratitude here at the Rewired Soul, so I got Rod and Vince here, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about it. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I'm here with two good buddies of mine. Go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. I'm Rod. And I'm Vince. We're a self-deprecating romantic pop rock duo, RKBC. <sighs> yes. Oh, and that's a leaf blower. We're a band. <laughs> We're songwriters, and uh, we suck at everything else, including taking care of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, we're going to be talking about gratitude. And by the way, stay tuned until this, the end of this video, um, because I will be doing a giveaway. So, real quick, like, whenever Rod and I hang out, and Vince, and, like, uh, Rod always tells a story about how we met. So let, oh, him, yeah. let, let him know real quick how we met. Yeah. I guess the TLDR is uh, when the whole Shane Dawson, Jake Paul thing was happening, uh, Katie Morton was featured in those videos. A lot of you saw those know that. Actually, if you're watching this, you probably know who Katie Morton is. Yeah. Um, and Katie is an acquaintance of ours. We see her at conventions and stuff. Something got suggested on our YouTube suggestions things. I was like, is Katie Morton a good therapist? It's like, mother, yeah, she is. So I clicked on it and watched it. It was this guy. That was in the morning, and then at nighttime, we were on our way to like a Vid Summit after party uh, that Patreon is having. Yeah. And I saw him in the hallway and was like, it's gonna sound totally creepy, but are you Chris? Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, I got noticed. <laughs> yeah, and then we just started talking for like ever, and then and then these guys came out to Vegas. Uh, what was it last month? In yeah. January? Yeah, we got to hang out and stuff. But anyways, yeah, we were we were sitting down and talking um, about gratitude, and like we've been trying to meet up and like do you know a co collab. I'm like, that is a great, great, great topic. So tell me, tell me again about like I know you got. You, you start writing stuff down. Mm -hmm. Vince, you getting in on it a little bit? I'm starting. I'm going to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's I, I do have there. my other things, though, and I could talk about those those uh, ways that I express gratitude. Or yes. Things I talk so, yeah. to myself about. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that. Like Because there's a billion different ways to do it. And something I try to teach all of you is like, there's different ways to do these things. Like, I'm not a big journaler. Like, I don't have like a journal. Like, I have like 15 notebooks that I write stuff in, but then I use apps and stuff like that. So, yeah, tell me about the habit that you picked up and then that you picked up fence um the the short version of how it started was once again katie morton we were at a patreon convention and i had asked a question at the end of her speech about like uh how do i uh properly internalize anger and also <laughs> how do i be more positive and not you know, like not be as angry with the uh, not to call any specific youtubers but a lot of our youtuber friends <laughs> do not like their life right now yeah. Uh, and are blaming like everybody else and I was like I don't want to be that so how do I not be that so mm -hmm. Katie was like hey don't internalize anger there's no correct way <laughs> of uh -huh. doing that uh, and that's a whole nother thing but the second thing that she said was uh, a let your friends know that you're trying to be positive so if it seems like you're ignoring their complaints it's not them it's you yeah um, boundaries and yeah. then the second the other part of that was be like she was like every morning wake up and genuinely be grateful for something she's like you could write it down you could you know, mm -hmm. think about it or whatever. So I went through this like process of like what works for me. So I knew previously from other habits, I used to run every day, which I need to get back into. Um, yeah, me too. Social media keeps me uh, accountable, particularly Granny Potty Mouth. <laughs> so like if I post on Twitter, uh, every day I'm gonna be grateful for something if I miss one day. <laughs> Yo, granny lets you know. Yeah, you better. And, and the rest of the internet as well, but True. especially Granny. So I was like, for the th first 30 days, uh, I'm gonna post uh, hashtag RKVC, R RK is grateful for. Okay. And it's something I'm genuinely grateful for, and not just making up or whatever. I'm like, this is something, you know, worth waking yeah. up for. Sometimes it could be comp like a big thing, like we accomplished something huge, or something in our careers went really well, or some, Katie said, don't be afraid to be, grateful for small things, you know, like I can see today mm. or I, you know, I woke up uh, without some sort of weird joint pain that's inexplicable in my thirties, mm, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> or not as much joint pain. I don't know, like not yeah. sarcastic and not making it a chore, but like genuinely being grateful for it. So, so you're specifically using like social media, making it public. That was the first 30 days for me to get into the habit of it. Cause I think after like a couple few weeks, it's just like uh, involuntary. Like it just kind of happens, so, you know? Yeah. So after that 30 days, I was like, I don't want to like gloat or bother everybody on the internet with it unless you want to follow this. And yeah. so at that point I started using uh, like notes on my phone to keep track. For me, that didn't register as well. 
Okay. Um, I didn't retain it as well. I don't, I'm not saying that that won't work for other people. Yeah. So at the start of the new year, I literally just took a actual notebook at, that Patreon gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blank notebook and then just start like 1.1, one yeah. you know, like I am yeah. grateful for, and then right yeah. now. And I, I think the important takeaway from that too is to be mindful of what's working for you and what isn't like some people like try and try and try like i'm i'm huge on meditation and stuff like that but if like formal meditation like sitting down focusing on your breath isn't working figure out a different form you know yeah. so if like if you start doing gratitude lists in your phone and it's not registering as much try something else what about what about you vince what yeah, you doing it's a perfect transition this guy <laughs> um really it, it all revolves around i wear my emotions Mm. and I project anger a lot. So I had to learn what things I, that, that triggered that and start to develop these ways to where when I'm in those moods, I can like, it, it'll shoot me back to this one thing that I've continued to do every mm -hmm. single day. So when I get up in the morning, I'm, that's kind of de determines what mood I'll be, be in. <laughs> so when I get in the shower, I, when I feel the water hitting me and like running down my body, I, I say out loud and I say to myself, like, let all my anger wash wash away. Let you know, let all whatever bad feelings wash away. And then while I'm when I get to a peaceful point, that's when I start saying like, I'm grateful for being in California. I'm grateful for my friends. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. So that later when I'm in like an angry fit, hopefully it shoots me back mm -hmm. to the shower where I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> but saying those things, you know, like, yeah. so those yeah. mornings when we run out of hot water, I know to like leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, today was a day. Yeah. yeah. So it's like two things. It's, it's one thing is like doing it, uh, something repetitiously so yeah. that later when I'm, I find myself in these ungrateful or like mad or angry fits that instead of projecting out bad things I can like shoot myself back to that mantra and like yeah. continue to say like I'm grateful for this like wash away this anger mm -hmm. like try to turn the switch you know because yeah. it's hard it's tough yeah yeah none of this stuff is like easy and it's a habit that we develop and so two things from that so like for example I was just using the example of meditation not a lot of people are into that like formal like focus on the breath but like that I do that in the shower too it's like um, sensation mindfulness right mm -hmm. you're being aware of what the water feels like you're not just running into the shower and just like All right, you know you're like noticing like this is Very relaxing true, yeah. and talking you know in your head or Centering whatever it is yourself. yeah so like that and that's all mindfulness is is being aware of the present moment but like I can definitely relate because one of the reasons I wrote rewire your anger was because I can get angry too mm -hmm. and gratitude is like this antidote for anger yeah. so like, like less than six years ago like when I got sober I had no driver's license I was riding the bus in hot ass Las Vegas and I'd have to be standing at a bus stop in 110 degree weather oh. and like so now like because you know all the things that have come my way and the work I've put in I have a car and everything so I'll be like stuck in traffic mm -hmm. right especially here in Los Angeles yeah. and I'll be like oh these freaks people and then like gratitude snaps me back like yeah. I, I'm grateful that I at least have a car yeah. to be stuck in traffic in you know like yeah. I, I'm grateful that I at least have a car that was able to bring me to Los Angeles to hang out with my friends and do videos like this so like gratitude is a great way to get rid of anger as well yeah so like I call it negative uh, thought cycles too mm. and then th that thing that triggers that circular thing that you get stuck in it breaks you off of that thing, gratefulness, and then you start a positive thought cycle. Yeah. And as long as you can stay in that positive thought cycle, I mean, you'll go back down yeah. into a negative, but you at least you can figure out what the trigger is to get you back into a positive thought cycle. Yeah, and like, to dive deeper into that, like with anger or even like depression and like negative thinking, like, I don't know if you guys ever get into like those negative thoughts, like, oh, my, my career isn't going anywhere or my life mm -hmm. sucks or whatever it is. Do you find that gratitude can help you bounce out of that? Like when you're like, when you're just like sitting in that pity party, like, well, nothing's working out. Da, yeah. da, da. That does happen. For me, I'm a little bit of an odd duck. Like it's very preventative for me. That's what I found recently. Hopefully like a year from now. <laughs> uh, I'm saying the same thing. But like, 
I, I find myself getting to that cycle less, that negative cycle mm. less. So like, um, we were talking about this uh, when we were visiting in Vegas, that once, you know, back a few months ago, the Aquaman movie had its premiere, and we were there. Mm. And normally, when us peasants go to these premieres, they just kind of put <laughs> us to the side, and like, you get to be here on Instagram a little bit. But this time, they walked us across the, or it wasn't a red carpet, it was a blue carpet, because Aquaman. Um, <laughs> they they walked, marched us across, and then they put us, like, right where, like, all the interviews were happening with Jason Momoa and Dolph Lundgren and Nicole Kidman and stuff. And so we were standing there, and granted, it was kind of a long night, but long was, like, a couple hours. Yeah. And I don't, whenever I tell the story, it sounds, like, very, like, you know, mightier than thou or whatever, but yeah. it's it's not meant it's to be that way. It's just an observation. It's, yeah. It's that I would say there, and I was... Not the first time, but the like, first time in a long time, I was genuinely like just in awe of everything. So many good things were coming at me, that perspective, that I was thoroughly enjoying myself. I was like, I'm at a movie premiere for something that like a bunch of my friends are trying to get into. Mm. Um, that me four years ago watched TV and was like, how do I, how do I be right. there, you know? Yeah. And to just be there and then see a movie that's gonna, it ended up being like the best like selling movie of, I don't say best movie, but best selling movie <laughs> yes. all year. And it was, it was an incredible. I don't know. There was so many. I could name a thousand things I was grateful for that moment. But everybody, not everybody, a lot of people around, yeah. like my immediate circumstance, were like, my feet hurt. It's cold outside. Blah blah. He came to a point after a couple hours of that that like I started just to feel sorry for everybody else. It's like they're not getting what like they're not seeing. Yeah, what I'm seeing. You know? And perception is always fascinating to me. Like it's something I talk about on my channel all the time. Two people can be in the exact same situation. Mm -hmm. One person's hating it. One person's loving it. Mm -hmm. And it's like. How is that? And it's the way that we work on our mind and how we process things and, yeah. and all of that. There's a meme that always comes to mind. I've never I've never forgotten it that I saw like years ago of like two people on a bus like driving around a mountain and one of them like looking into this beautiful valley. Oh yeah. And the other yeah. one's like looking on the other side and it's just like a rock wall. And they're like, <laughs> This trip is awful and the other one's just like enjoying all he has to do is turn around. Yeah. yeah. And and like this is why like I try to you know, implement like scientific studies. Maybe I'll link one in the description. Mm -hmm. But like practicing these things actually help. The video I actually did with my mom uh, over on her channel, I'll link that because she links some studies on that. So let me ask you this, like being in, you know, lovely Los Angeles and like to kind of piggyback off that story about the red carpet, do you guys notice that? Like do you, when you look and observe people, like do you think a lack of gratitude is leading to some of their I don't know, not being fully satisfied with where they're at or what they do have. Oh yeah, absolutely, definitely. Yeah. And like, and like, what way? Like, what situations? A little bit in the Hollywood. Not sense. to name names, because yeah. we don't spill tea here. <laughs> <laughs> we can start that channel. <laughs> um, no, it, it, a little bit in the Hollywood world. Like, we we have like a toe in in the film world, uh, and then our main thing is music. But like in the YouTube world specifically, once again, without calling out names, there are a lot of people that are super negative, and not that. I'm trying to villainize them. Like mm -hmm. sometimes it's very like justified, you know, frustration. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't help to just be angry. Staying about it. in the problem, not getting in the solution. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> like you want to be a friend, you know, you're like there listening and you're trying to give constructive criticism of what's happening or whatever. But like you could tell that whatever decisions that person makes after cat just like it's, it's, yeah, gonna be, awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be affected by the thoughts of you know that negativity is gonna branch out to every decision you make it mm -hmm. and if you stay in that then it's not gonna work yeah. out the, so, like there was a, a number of occasions but I'm specifically thinking of like one conversation we had yeah, some friends that, that are on YouTube that like were like well YouTube's screwing us over yeah and so I was like okay well you know maybe it's kind of like when you lose your job or you know this the, that situation oh, you, yeah. you're at like a fork in the road where you're like well I can uh, you know I give choices now it, it might not be voluntary but yeah. like maybe this is the opportunity if you were ever afraid to do something on your channel to break mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. if you know if YouTube broke it or whatever maybe this is your chance to try that yeah. thing and they're like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to like shake things up too much because I don't want to break it. And like, yeah. okay, then I guess stay the same, like hold your ground and never come back around. They're like, yeah. but, but we have to change something because YouTube broke it. Like, I don't know what to tell you other than like just stop. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, and I, I yeah, and that's a that's a whole other video about like stubbornness <laughs> and like you know that definition of insanity. Keep doing the same thing, yeah. expecting different results. But yeah, my my girlfriend does a great job keeping me grateful too because. 
sometimes I get caught up in like the numbers, right? Or yeah. if it's a video, it's, especially like what I notice about myself is like, it's something that I'm really proud of. And you guys probably feel this way too, as musicians, you know, and creators, like you put so much and you just want people to see it. Mm -hmm. And my brain can say only a hundred people or only 500 people saw this. And then my girlfriend, you know, that, that perception thing, she's like, Chris, 500 people might have gotten a message yeah. that helped them out and I'm like damn yeah, you're yeah. right do you guys ever like Change have to point of view and yeah. perspective and so we actually we haven't talked about it on our channel actually at all I don't think but one of the things that YouTube did for us is a kind of like replaced touring because we toured our asses off when we were in our 20s but in our 30s we're like you know what mm -hmm. this is a bit much but I think last year we did like half a million views on our channel, which yeah. for most of our YouTube friends are like, they literally do that in like before lunch. <laughs> like every I, need day. To be, I need to become one of those YouTube yeah. friends. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, once again, being grateful, we're like, one of our uh, friends who's like OG YouTuber, like yeah. retired from YouTube, like great, was like, but what you guys do is great. Like a hundred or like a thousand people watching your videos. Like imagine all those people in a club at one of your games. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of freaking people yeah. you know and I was like you're right like even if we have like only less than 100 people watch a video like yeah that's a good night for us at a club yeah so half a million eyes um, on our stuff we couldn't have toured every crappy bar in the country and gotten that many eyes on this yeah you know yeah absolutely so. and yeah like I think we're gonna wrap this thing up so let me and by the way, we're doing more videos together, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, we're about to do a video over on their channel, so that'll be down in the link to, in the description. They have some uh, some music that we're gonna dive into, some lyrics, yep. mental health related, but you gotta go check it out to find out. <laughs> but head over to my Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. I am giving away three, not one, not two, but three gratitude journals to celebrate some gratitude. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram so you can enter in that giveaway. And where can these beautiful rewired soldiers find you guys? Um, for our social side, it's us. Uh, uh, oh wait, I got that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> for our music side, it's uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. Um, our social side is our YouTube is probably our biggest yeah. thing, and mm -hmm. then um, all the normal stuff like Twitter, RK Instagram. VC views, yeah. RK VC Insta. RKVC tweets. Yeah, we have a lot of weird usernames, but if you search RKVC yeah. on any of those platforms, you'll find us. Yeah, and they'll all be linked down below too. All right. Anyways, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank Chris. you guys. Thank and you. let's turn this off so we can record some more videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>